Hi guys, so we are spending an easy relaxed day at home, just taking care of our people and doing a bit of housework here and there and also <laughs> a bit of baking because <laughs> you, you, you wait and see. So um, our nanny has taken a couple of days off, we gave her a couple of days off and so it's just me and my people and the fly lady system <laughs> yes which is so nice i'm so glad that you're here just to spend time with me as i do these things i think acts of service must be my love language you guys because there's nothing i love more than just spending a day at home and doing housework i know that sounds crazy but for me it is so relaxing and yeah i'm excited that you're here You guys, are you freezing like I am? Because what winter is this? What manner of winter are we going through here in Kenya, Africa? I've just checked Google. I'm telling you guys, it is 14 degrees centigrade outside. 14. Like, I might as well just go outside and start buying a snow plow or something. What? <laughs> it is so cold. So as you can see, my living room is littered with blankets, hot water bottles, and all manner of things because even in the morning before the kids start class and everything oh my gosh it is so freezing everybody just wants to cover themselves <laughs> let me know how cold it is by the way check on google the temperature of where you are right now and let me know in the comment section below and let's see whose area is the coldest mm -hmm. I have uh, not had quite a lot of days to be at home and to do as much housework as I would like and so uh, some things have fallen a bit by the wayside like as I keep saying <laughs> doing my zone cleaning so nowadays every chance I get even if I don't get to do a whole week of zone cleaning like if I'm concentrating on the living room I try to do the most you know like polish the furniture uh, clean the sofas with our sofa cleaner in case you're interested of course you know i will link it down below and all that jazz because if i wait for the day that i'll have a whole week to be home to do the zone cleaning my gosh it might have to wait for a while <laughs> table mat's drawer hey, is a mess normally the kids are in charge of setting the table so everybody we have four kids so everybody the three older kids get to set the table for the three meals so <laughs> this this drawer just becomes a mess i've honestly never taken a chance to clean it out since we moved here <laughs> so as you can see yeah well yeah life
uh, some guys have been DMing me and asking me about our vacuum cleaner, uh, where we bought it, what we think about it, which is the best brand to buy, and all that jazz. Um, our, our vacuum cleaner, by the way, is seven more than seven years old because i remember we bought it when our firstborn was born and we realized he was allergic to dust and so because we had a carpet even back then we decided we really want to try and get rid of dust especially on the carpets you know especially when kids are learning to crawl and all that and you can imagine if your carpet is full of dust so that's when we bought our vacuum cleaner it's really old and it's starting to break down a bit uh it's a hoover brand yes and i mean i bit and i believe there are much more newer and more effective brands that have come up well since then you know how technology changes every two minutes so we're looking forward to getting a, a newer better model one of these days should the lord decide to bless us get asked quite often what does your house help do since you seem to be doing so much well you see if she was here my kitchen would not be full of dirty dishes the way it is full of them right now because after breakfast she would have washed these dishes but hello hello this mama is by herself the kids are in class so yeah i have to do it and you guys hey we talk about house helps a lot and especially on instagram we've really been having some nice discussions lately and one of the things that i love that i've managed to do and over time and never used to be like this is that i am very comfortable and able to stay without a help for however long i mean i don't get intimidated by housework or if someone decides to wake up and they're like i'm out of here I don't get baffled or, or stressed or all that because the flat lady system helps me to keep my house relatively in order. So, so all that to say that I'm, hap I'm happy and grateful that we have a house help, but I'm grateful that I'm no longer dependent on one. I hope that makes sense. load of laundry is out so it's time to do another one and also unhang the clothes that have already dried for once i do not have a mountain of laundry in the helps room <laughs> i've been struggling with that for a while but lately i feel like i am so on point uh yeah if you're interested in the the laundry pods that we use we use tight pods and sometimes we have aerial or parcel i will link them down below and also the amazing scent posters that really makes your clothes smell like rainbows and unicorns and daisies you know i'm going to link them all down below but yeah it's laundry time
our lovely help is back with the bang <laughs> yes uh she enjoyed two days off with her people as did we so uh <laughs> one of the things i've been telling her is that it seems to me that she really likes banana bread yes and maybe she's not able to tell me that she likes it and she wants me to make ev- to make it every week so she lets the bananas just get extremely overripe so i have no choice but to make banana bread because <laughs> you guys know how many times i've been making banana bread oh my god <laughs> because i don't know why the bananas are just seem to be just getting so overripe and so like I'm buying more bananas than I used to. I've always bought bananas worth 200 shillings. And we used to finish them. But lately, me, I don't know what's happening. So I have this entire bunch of <clears throat> bananas that I need to cook. Oh, my gosh. And there are too many to make. But I mean, how many loaves of banana bread is a girl going to make? So I'm making banana bread. I'm making banana muffins. I'm making banana smoothie. You guys, I'm making, <sighs> just about to make banana ice cream, banana ugali, banana spinach <laughs> banana everything <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh my gosh i know i love baking and all this but okay the banana flavor is getting a little bit too much i need to find another solution for this and yes freezing their overripe bananas is an option but guys uh <laughs> i don't know how to say this <laughs> And I have other frozen bananas in my freezer. <laughs> oh my gosh. point i won't even tell you how to make banana bread please i'm sure you've been here for a minute you've seen me make this recipe 69 times so yeah all just to remind you that if you want to your banana bread not to get overcooked please remember to to do what to cover it so it doesn't get over browned cover it with foil By the way, this banana bread is a serious hit in our house, you guys. Especially the nuts. They really just elevate it to the next level. It makes it nice and crunchy. And because the bananas were very, very ripe, the taste of bananas, the flavor was quite rich. Ah, uh, the muffins. Oh my gosh, kids love the muffins. <sighs> the smoothie is good for the healthy option, people. Uh, yeah. Let me know which one of these you will try. Let me know if you're also having banana shenanigans where you are at. Watch another video on this channel. If you've liked this content, please remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And let me see you in the next one, guys. I appreciate you. Bye.